Hello everyone. Today we learn about the design of check dam part 2. In part 1 we studied the synthetic unit hydrograph parameter from which synthetic unit hydrograph ordinates can be drawn. Now in second part step 3, 4 and 5 we study Three, we design the base flow. What is the base flow? Base flow in the hydraulic structure refers to the portion of a river or a stream's flow that is sustained by groundwater discharge even during periods of a low precipitation or a drought. Means, it is the contribution of the groundwater into the stream. it can be uh, obtained by equation qb is equal to 0.109 divided by a raised to 0.126 multiplied by a where a is the area of a catchment here we taken as a 70 square kilometer so qb is obtained as a 4.46 qmax as a design base flow in step 4 we have to design the storm discharge if we take point rainfall is equal to 25 cm which is generally obtained from the isopluvial maps it depend upon the region to region and we multiply it it with the conversion factor uh, as per regional manual as 0.95 then we obtain the point rainfall is equal to 23.75 cm if as per the regional manual reduction aerial reduction factor is taken as 0.9 then multiplied it with a point rainfall gives as aerial rainfall is equal to 21.375 cm now here we assume the loss rate is equal to 0.45 cm per hour then this table gives the us excess rainfall value here in first column hour is taken as 1 to 16 and uh, for each hour excess rainfall is calculated column number 2 gives the distribution coefficient for the 25 hour uh, rainfall design here uh, column number 3 is the coefficient for each hour which is obtained from by subtracting the second row value and first row value of column number 2 0.41 minus 0.28 gives the 0.13 and 0.53 minus 0.41 gives the value 0.12 and such column 3 is column 3 value is obtained now in column 4 21.375 multiplied by column number 3 value where 21.375 is the aerial rainfall as obtained in slide number 3 column number 5 give, give us the loss rate then excess rainfall is obtained by subtracting the column number 5 from the column number 4 like 5.985 minus 0.45 and other values obtain in the column number 6 here we obtain hours only up to 13 because up to that uh, duration peak discharge is already occurred so if uh, we design up to 10 hour also uh, also complete the peak discharge however we taken up to 13 hour now step 4 now step number 5 is for the estimation of a 25 year peak flood here 
hours is 16 as uh, duration of a storm and hourly discharge is obtained from the synthetic unit hydrograph parameters and smoothly drawn synthetic unit hydrograph. Now excess rainfall as obtained in slide number 5 is written in the second row as 5.535, 2.329 and such as on. Now R1, R2, R3 up to R9 gives the uh, discharge contribution of a storm in the catchment and its, its value is obtained by multiplying hourly discharge with excess rainfall like 2.2 multiplied by 5.535 gives value as 12.18 and 7.8 multiplied with 5.535 gives value as 43.17 and R1 column other value is obtained such like. Now R2 uh, we have to leg the values by one hour so that first R2 value is obtained by multiplying 2.2 with 2.329 is equal to 5.12 second value 7.8 multiplied by 2.329 gives result as 18.17 and such as on R2 value can be obtained and subsequently R3, R4 up to R9 is obtained. We can also calculate up to the R16 but up to R9 we get the peak discharge. In last column flood discharge hydrograph we summing up the value like in first hour 2.2 plus 12.18 gives result as 14.38 and such as on up to zero value. Here maximum value is obtained as 383.89 which is the flood discharge hydrograph uh, means peak flood hydrograph value. Now for 25 year flood peak we have to adding the design base flow as calculated in previous slides 4.46 gives the uh, result as 383.89 plus 4.46 is equal to 388 qmax which is the peak discharge. Now next, uh, in next part we study the subsequent steps.